Welcome to Lehigh Valley Sports Scene. This past Saturday morning, the Lehigh Valley Velodrome hosted their 31st annual fall bicycle swap meet. Then on Saturday night, the Valley's biggest names in both track and road racing gathered at DeSales University for a black tie fundraiser dinner sponsored by Morgan Stanley's Bruce Donaghy. In addition to local stars being in attendance, one of the most well-known names in U.S. cycling history was in town to help support the cause. Kristen Mayer has the details. U.S. cycling's biggest supporters arrived red carpet style for the black tie fundraiser event hosted by Bruce Donaghy in the International Cycling Center as they tried to raise awareness and interest in building a permanent cycling hall of fame here in the valley. This valley is really kind of the epicenter for, for cycling. And we, I think, would love, I think, Bruce Donaghy's and everybody's dream is to have a permanent place for a hall of fame. Greg LeMond, the first American to win the Tour de France in 1986 and a three-time world champion, made the trip with his wife, Kathy, from their home in the Midwest to support past Olympic teammate Bruce Donaghy and draw attention to the sport they both love. It feels great to be here. It's like old home week, like seeing people that we haven't seen in like 15, 20 years, early people in Greg's career, and you know, kind of the, re the real people who are, are the foundation of U.S. cycling. Her husband being one of those foundations, although he's not entirely comfortable taking credit for making this sport more popular here in the States. I'd like to say I'm the only one who, I'm the one who started it all. I think I was just one of the seeds because when I was racing in the late 70s, the, the amount of races was tremendous. It was kind of a, a popular underground sport, but nobody talked about it. Lamont says the number of racers hasn't risen all that much since the late 70s. But things like the American Flyers movie, the major networks televising the Tour de France, and the creation of the mountain bike had a snowball effect on the growth of cycling's popularity in the States. I can't take credit for all of it, but I think I think I probably did inspire a lot of kids to try bike racing, which which is which is great. One thing Lamont takes from his cycling career that he hopes the ICC will use in its mission to establish a Hall of Fame is to set a goal and pour your heart and soul into making your dream a reality, even when there are roadblocks to face along the way. People just see the success. They don't realize all the work and the setbacks that you have getting there and I've had multiple times in my career that I never thought I'd continue racing. We had a lot of ups and downs Greg's career gosh before when he you know on his way up to winning the 86 tour it was really blessed we never really had any serious setbacks and um, and then when he got shot that was quite the blow but we were so happy that he had survived it that I don't think you know, anything that came after his hunting accident was just, you know, frosting on the cake. After surviving being shot in a hunting accident, Lamont came back to win the Tour de France two more times in 1989 and 1990. And now retired, he, as well as everyone else in the U.S. cycling family, hopes to make the sport of cycling more recognized and reward it here in the United States. Bike riding is, you know, it's it's a very important, you know, aspect of the world. I mean, it's primary means of transportation in a lot of third world countries. Uh, it's good for the environment, it's good for your health, and it's an exciting sport. So let's figure out how we can get a Hall of Fame here in Lehigh Valley. On the scene at the Sales University, Kristen Mayer, Two Sports.